Hi, I'm Cyrus Lowe, and here is your entertainment lowdown. So, I've got my own YouTube channel, The Cyrus Lowdown, which has seen me have a good old chit chat with the likes of Gemma Arterton, Una Chaplin, and Downton Abbey star Gary Carr. What is your favourite film? Oh, that's a hard question. You can be in it. And I'm lucky enough to be at the London film premiere of Chichester Festival Theatre's production of Noel Coward's Private Lives. Toby Stevens and Anna Chancellor take the lead roles of Elliot and Amanda. Broadchurch is back. And from the very start of series two, it is already packing a punch. Now listen, if like me, you thought the reveal of Danny's killer at the end of series one was going to be the end of this super series, think again. I'm Cyrus Lowe at Pudsey the Dog, the movie, the world premiere. What are you most excited about the film? Yeah, we've got another one. <laughs> if I had the opportunity to interview one person and ask them one question, it would have to be one of my favourite all-time actors, actress, whatever you want to call her, Meryl Streep. I think she's the goddess of acting and I would like to know how are you so good. That is what I would ask Meryl Streep. The West End is currently packed with loads of great shows, but here are my top three must-sees. In at number three, Three Sisters at the National Theatre. Twerking into number two is the Scottsboro Boys at the Garrick, but my current number one is the very, very funny, the play that goes wrong, that is playing at the Duchess Theatre. So I've got 20 seconds to tell you all about me. I trained as an actor at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, where the likes of Kenneth Branagh trained, I uh, love a bow tie and anything oversized, be that a t-shirt or a pair of specs. There's no second hand on this clock, so I don't know if that's, um, yeah. Welcome to Will the West End Be Live? The show where we get to go behind the scenes of some of our top West End shows to find out whether they will be ready for the mammoth task of performing at West End Live in London's Leicester Square. The Oscar nominations have hit our news feeds and the lack of colour among the nominees seems to be a talking point. Now, with Oscar voters being 94% white, 77% male and with an average age of 62, is this really much of a surprise? These are your showbiz headlines for January the 14th, 2015. There is drama in the Big Brother house with a shock eviction. Nicole Scherzinger is leaving Cats behind but who can replace her? And the BAFTA nominations are released. So who are the runners and the riders? Celebrity Big Brother 2015 is currently on our screens and its cacophony of characters is already causing loads of controversy. Last night, it stepped up a gear as Katie Price entered the mix. So, do you think she's gonna be a hit or a miss? I think she's gonna have to compete with the other Kate. Katie v Katie. Yeah, Katie because Katie. I think the other Kate is doing quite well. She's a bit surprised. Are you warming to Katie think, Hopkins? Yeah. Katie Hopkins. I yeah. yeah, I think we're going to see the real Katie. What, what do you think the real Katie will look like? I don't know, just like nicer and more laid back than like what they try and perceive her as in the press. I think it's clear from those reactions that this is a production that you will love. Wherever you watch it, enjoy, and us at Digital Theatre will see you very soon. Check us out at digitaltheatre.com or find us on Facebook, YouTube or Twitter. See you soon. So that was your entertainment lowdown. I've been Cyrus Lowe. Thank you for watching. Just watch. Oh.